Who all loves reprints? I do. I like watching it. I mean, I like, I like thinking in my mind about what's going to happen or in my videos, say it out loud and coming back a, a little while later to see it actually happen. So reprint came out, let's say second week of July, like I thought, by the way. And now we're starting to see the actual effects of what a reprint would do to Weiss. Especially since we know the reprint is only going to happen on powerful sets, collectible sets. So in this case, it was both. And as you can see here on TCG Player, we have a low of sixty-five ninety-eight for the booster boxes. Again, it kind of threw me off because um, there were sales like right before the re. Uh, oh, it's gone. I didn't realize that there was only so many that it goes back to, but there was sales like right before the reprint happened in like the 125s, which was nuts to me. I don't know if those people just needed it, didn't realize there was a reprint coming or whatnot, but people were buying it for 125. And if they just waited just a tiny little bit longer, they would have got these low, low prices. So by the way, if you don't know about TCG player and their fees, so depending on who you are, if you're like a big seller, not so big seller, let's just go with uh, 6598 times, let's, let's be generous, uh, 88. So 12% TCG player fees. That puts you at 58, and don't forget shipping. So if you're gonna shove this into a flat rate padded envelope, that's eight bucks. I mean, you may be able to uh, ship it for cheaper, but let's just go with eight. How many of you are buying boxes at $50? And then selling it? And then at the same time, hopefully you don't get scammed by somebody charging you back or uh, putting in a dispute, something like that. So this is what happens when a reprint happens and i'm not arguing for one way or the other i'm just saying this is obviously going to happen you know like when when a reprint when i talked about data live for a while there i was like you really really need to be cautious about this reprint if you are that person that just wants to buy these things to sell it because you're probably not the only person out there that thought the same thing and you could see here in the quantity of these boxes and some of these people i would say are not even showing their full hands right they're not showing all of of what they bought so just be wary about what is actually out there because even then there's when i see the amount of listings go down like like it dipped to like 22 next day it went to 27 so there's some people that aren't even putting up their listings yet so there's gonna be more there's there's definitely a ton more that has um that people have and are not showing yet so tcg player i don't know why they keep doing this but you see it says y schwarz data live you have to hit y schwarz again i don't know why it's been doing that lately um you have people here selling cases and again uh, the beauty about a case is making sure that you're not being not the SP wasn't pulled and you're getting dead boxes. So if you want to just do by 16, it's like $72 a box. So even then they're pretty cheap. I saw um, on Facebook, people were just fire selling cases, right? And in auctions, just putting it out there like below $900 below nine let's just go with 900 so there we are there we are this is what happens when you have a very popular set that gets a reprint um you could also say that about sets that are coming out that people are buying lots of i'm gonna leave it at that you could just try to figure out what the ones i'm talking about there but there are a few sets that people are going to buy a lot of, and this is going to happen the exact same way. 
And here are updated numbers as of today. I wanted to do this today. I'm probably not going to do a market update on Friday because this video actually leads into another video that I wanted to do. So I needed to do this one first. As you can see here, this is, hasn't even been a week. It's been last time I pulled these was July 17th. And this is today's pricings. And this is just over this many days. So weekly change but you can see the overall changes. It's pretty bad, pretty bad. And then you have the double rare average. The double rare average dropped down to $3.80. And for those that want a play set of double rares, that's 152, 152. So back May 3rd, this thing was 538, just for double rares. So if you bought a play set at the $300, $350 mark, you were doing really good. You could have literally you could have literally just took taken the single cards from there and just flipped them, right? You could just like, I don't care about Kurumi that much. That's a whole lot of money. And then over the couple weeks, right? Like, oh, there was that gap of time there. I didn't do it. This is when I started doing it weekly. So there was a bit of time there and uh, obviously it dropped down. You could have still did the same thing. You could have took them cards and sold it. But now we're down to here. And as one might imagine, you could go on Facebook again and find play sets for like 250. There's there's a reason why these numbers look this way. And I'm gonna use a couple of examples. So we have a data live right here. This is from UUTE, obviously Japanese cards, what we're staring at. We know that there are way more Japanese format players than English. It's the truth. But we also do know that English sells less products. In that way, it makes sense, right? It, it makes sense. I don't have to t tell you that, but this is where I'm going. So we know all this time that if you look back at a lot of sets, if you look at the double rares, you, we were able to use UUTE as kind of like a price guide on how much the English ones would be. Uh, we were able to do that with the sign cards, right? It was always that the sign cards and all the other cards on the Japanese version were lower. There was more population of them out there than what English actually had. But you could also say that about the double rares. You know, again, you need the double rares to play this game. You need them. They're, they're like the best cards that are playable. So that always meant that the double rares were higher uh, in English because, again, there was that lower population of them. You have that breaking away now. If you take a look here at Terrible Spirit Kurumi, she is showing up here for $24.80 on Yuyute. What do we have here on TCG Player? We have $13.98. So you could see a definite decreasing of, of the relationship now, right? It's doing the opposite of what we've always known it to do. And obviously what we can get from that is the whole fact that there's a lot more people opening this for for a few reasons uh, there's not as many players that's able to absorb all this right they bought play sets before they bought single cards before and now with the reprint some of these people obviously pre-ordered uh, more play sets that were available and now you have all these people that are collecting or just trying to flip a uh, product, whether that means like they're, they're, collect, they're opening, collecting, and selling all these double rares, or, you know, people are just opening boxes to try to hit, let's see, our SEC here, and then flip that. Which, by the way, this is hilarious because this thing is nowhere near 1450 you go on Reddit right now and there's all these people that are like, look, I got this card, I got this card, I got this card. No way is this thing going to be fourteen fifty at this point, right? Last time it even sold on TCG Player anyways, $1,200 in March, 
like all of these, all of them. You know, like it's when you take a look at sign cards, special rare. So if you take a look here, we have uh, drop, 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 drop. They're all dropping. Yoshino, though, she didn't really change. And if you're wondering, yes, I did take a picture. So we got, uh, uh, she did drop. Went from 115 down to 100. Here we are. 100, 115, Toka, 139, 125. So I took this picture as of the Friday. I should have took one the other Friday before. So they're all getting hurt. And at the same time, it's like, let me just see. I didn't actually click in here. How many people are buying these things? They are not buying these things. Last one was 7-1. And again, I know it's TCG player, yada, yada. But if you checked out the Facebook groups, I thought I saw origami at like 85. Anybody buy an origami? 92. So there you go. I mean, there's collectors out there, but there's only so many of them. There's people that want to play the game, but there's so many of them. And that is the danger point about Weiss, right? Like, you can learn a lot from what we just see here. Like, it, it's very apparent what's actually happening here. And if you don't want to believe me, oh, child decks. Oh, child decks. What is this? July 17th. And go back here. Click. Click. One more. Okay. Trial deck. Where's my trial deck? Trial decks, as we know, didn't get a reprint. So, three sales, four sales, five sales, five sales, five sales since the 15th, and there are so many left, right? So, if you need a trial deck, you probably should pick one up, or you just buy the individual Toka card that you need. Um, but at the same time, Again, just because you see this many here on TCG Player, there's definitely people that have trial decks still. So don't be fooled in thinking that you're going to be able to buy all these and that's it. You got like the last supply of trial decks. That's not it. People got it. People got some, myself included. So there are trial decks that still exist. And that's it. That's, that's basically it. So... Again, reprints are really good if you want to play the game because we can see what actually happens to that. But at the same time, this is why reprints don't actually happen because we don't have enough players to support reprints. You had a bunch of people that probably had dollar signs in their eyes or just wanted to collect sign cards and thought they could sell some of these cards back. To make some of the difference up and people are finding out now that that's not actually the case like why this doesn't work that way eventually you know long term if you hold on to your boxes they'll probably be worth something but right now if you need the money quick i wish you good luck like i said when we did the math here you're looking at minus shipping i don't know how much I don't know the lowest that a person can buy boxes or cases for, but that looks pretty ugly, right? If you're just a normal normal person and you're selling it for $65.98, that's, that's got to hurt. And again, that's if all your transactions, someone doesn't screw you over. So there you go. Data Live, reprint. Good times for everybody or good times for some.